Hi, I'm Wendy Brockman. Online and undercover. That's how the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office takes down child predators. Take a look on Jefferson County Insights. Watch what happens when a child predator shows up at an apartment expecting to see a teenage girl. He's quite surprised to find DA investigators waiting instead. <laughs> Undercover operations are a big part of what the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office does to fight crime that starts on the computer. When Mike Harris, an investigator with the DA's office, goes to work, yeah, that's definitely not our, our suspect. He enters a cyber world full of potential child sex offenders. There's a number of adults in our society that have fascinations for children, sexual fascinations, and they are constantly trolling and looking for kids that make mistakes, kids they can manipulate. Mike Harris portrays himself as one of those kids. I go online and portray myself as a teenage boy or girl. We go everywhere kids go, online game sites, chat rooms, social networking site. Since he started doing this back in 1996, he's gotten very good at getting the bad guys to take the bait. In fact, with more than 430 arrests, the Child Sex Offender Internet Investigation Unit now helps other law enforcement agencies do the same. Every year, we have arrested more and more and more. You would think with all the, you know, the public's knowledge of this now through, through the media, you would think that this would be somewhat of a deterrent. It has not been a deterrent. These perpetrators that target our kids are obsessed with this. We go after them because we want to get them before they can get to a real child. That's our, one of our goals. The other goal is prevention. Mike Harris and his team, including mascot Chizo, visit schools, parent programs, and civic groups to educate the public about the dangers lurking online. 90% of kids we talk to in schools are carrying cell phones or going online. And parents aren't always up to speed on the latest technology. Sexting, for example, is the term for sending sexually explicit messages or photos on a cell phone. Once you post a photo online or through a text, that picture is in cyberspace forever. On the internet, QT means cutie. KOL means kiss on the lips. POS means parent over your shoulder. Mike Harris says children in the fourth through eighth grades are the most vulnerable to a child predator. And he says parents can and should do more to minimize the danger. For example, take the computer out of the child's bedroom and restrict their access to their cell phone. If a child is communicating with the perpetrator and they have given out their cell phone number, now that perpetrator has 24 hours access to their child. They need to emphasize with these kids that don't be talking to somebody you don't know. And our primary message is if you don't know someone in person, you shouldn't be communicating with them. And you shouldn't be providing any type of personal information such as your name, your address, your phone number, your school, your hobbies, and so forth. In this arrest, this guy thought he was meeting a young girl at the airport and planned to have sex with her. Fortunately, DA investigators were there instead. Technology will continue to change and challenge parents and police to do more because any child with access to a cell phone or a computer can be at risk. And it doesn't just happen to bad kids. It happens to good kids from good families. And that's what no one stops to think about because they don't think it's gonna to happen to their kid. That's why the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office and its Internet Safety Unit will take down the bad guys however they can, online and undercover. If you'd like to schedule an internet safety presentation, call the Chizo hotline at 303-271-6766 or send an email, chizo at jeffco.us. I'm Wendy Brockman. Thanks for watching Jefferson County Insights.